This weekend, you can lace up your skates and hit the ice alongside Olympic gold medalist Scott Hamilton. He is in town for a really special event aiming to change the future of cancer treatment. And we are so thrilled that he's able to join us here today on The Four. Scott, thank uh, you for being here. Thank you so much for this opportunity, and, and it's just great to be here. I, just like, I thought it was going to be frigid. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure packing, and then I look at my phone. Oh my God. This isn't normal. It's warmer than it is in Tennessee. It's, like, it's impossible. So. I know. We were giving, Mike was giving you like a personalized forecast for the ice <laughs> over the weekend. Tell us about the event. Well, it's Cage Eliminate Cancer. It's our national fundraising program for my foundation, the Scott Hamilton CARES Foundation. Uh, CARES stands for the Cancer Alliance for Research, Education, and Survivorship. So um, out of my survivorship, I'm a 25-year cancer survivor. I realized there were a lot of gaping holes in the cancer community, and so um, I just... So, you know, just got to work to solve those problems and, and we've done a lot of great things, but now we're all about research and it's the right kind of research. It's immunotherapy, targeted therapies, anything that will treat the cancer and spare the patient harm. And so what we do is, is we, and rinks all over the country, we have skates to eliminate cancers where skaters will sign up and they'll fundraise and it's like peer to peer fundraising. It's, you know, it's, it's like a lot of the walks or the bike races, but we do it on the ice. and. Um, everybody's welcome to come out. Um, tonight we have our frozen 5K at 6 o'clock at St. Louis Park Rec Center. And then tomorrow at 7.30, uh, um, we have our ice show. Uh, Ryan Bradley, U.S. Champion, is coming in. And so all of our fundraisers, they, if they get to a certain level of fundraising, they qualify to be in the ice show. And it's a huge honor and it's a big fun thing for them to be able to rub elbows and to know that, um, especially a lot of these younger skaters, they're actually changing their world for the better. The world that they're going to inherit will look a lot different than the one now, especially when it comes to cancer treatment options. Well, thanks to the research of your foundation, we know two-time cancer survivor, you've gone through multiple brain tumor surgeries, and of course, understanding, of, sorry to hear of, that you lost your mother to cancer. This is so close to your heart. How important is this research to you? Well, I, I didn't choose cancer, it chose me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's just kind of unfortunate, as it does with most people, but I always thought, you know, I was adopted at six weeks of age, and I always, when I lost my mom, and I was closer to her than anyone else, I loved my mom. When I lost her, I, I got to work as a fundraiser, and I thought, if I could find a cure for her type of cancer, then I'll know why I was born, A, and B, um, I'll save the pain of another 18-year-old boy, way too young to lose your mom. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the, the pain that comes with losing a parent or a child or anyone to cancer is just extraordinary, especially with what we know about the human body now and just really pushing the research. I'm here 25 years later because two guys in Indiana figured it out. And we've got to just raise money to continue to fund research scientists to develop new therapies for, especially for cancers that have no chance. Mm -hmm. And um, so I'm really passionate about it. And um, it's been a lifelong pursuit. I went from being sort of a fundraiser to more of an activist. And um, yeah, we do these all over the country. And what better place to do it than Minnesota? <laughs> this is like- Our weather didn't show up for you. But no, <laughs> but it's perfect because we're outside. I just I'm like, I want this weather if we're gonna be outside. But yeah. it's just a great culture here of skating and hockey. Sure. And, and it's just um, a great place for us to have this event. And I've skated here so many years. And, and You'll be in the show, right? I mean, I'm, I'm hosting. Okay, I, you're hosting. Gravity is not as kind to me as it <laughs> used to be. So, you know, it's like I host and I, I connect the dots and, and do all those things. But it, it's an extraordinary thing. And, and our, our partner is, is I got to get it right because it's a long one. Yeah. Um, M Health. Uh, Fairview mm -hmm. Masonic Children's Hospital. Okay, people here Nailed know that it. one. Yes. When's the last time you did the signature backflip? Our I did probably one, want to I, know. actually 12 years ago was the last okay. one. I, did. I was 51 years old when I did it, and um, I was thinking that, okay, this is about as far as I'm going to take this <laughs> thing. And it was great. I came back to skating for a year, and then at the end of that season, my brain tumor came back, and that was the nine surgeries. And, and so um, since then, I just said, you know, I'm just going to stay close to my kids, stay close to home as much as I can and really just keep pushing to get as many people involved in this as possible to, um, you know, it takes all of us. Yeah. You know, Danny Thomas, who started uh, St. Jude um, Children's Research Hospital, I quote him all the time. And one of the things he said is, I'd rather get a dollar from a million people than a million dollars from one person. And I'm not that picky. <laughs> I'm not, I'm just, where, however, whatever, whatever. <laughs> but he also said something really profound that really, it's just an echo chamber in my mind is that, 
you know, there's givers and takers in the world, and the the takers eat better, but the givers sleep better. Mm. Mm. And so I'm really just trying to teach young people and whoever in the skating community, young and old, however, that they they are really instrumental and and they can change the world forever and for the better just by advancing this research that just solve these problems mm. one at a time or maybe even five at a time. We and don't you're know. an inspiration too. So we appreciate well, you, you for being here. I mean, on and off the ice. Absolutely. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Skate to Eliminate Cancer is tonight at the St. Louis Park Rec Center, as Scott said. Tomorrow, you can watch the Celebration Ice Show, emceed by Scott. It's at 7.30. Proceeds benefit Scott Hamilton Cares Foundation and, as Scott said, and Health Fairview Masonic Children's Hospital. We've got the details <laughs> on our website.